Time now for the beginning of Taurus Trophy. And I think just to open up this game, I'm going to head up to challenge mode and to basically get myself all of the free motorcycles before we go after the licenses, which I have a feeling I will probably be doing over the next couple of episodes once I'm finished here. So to start with, we are going to begin with Honda. And where, basically, I will more or less be spending these first few episodes getting the key to all of these free motorcycles that I can claim without needing, without needing a license. And there are also various colour choices as well. I might as well include those as well just to make this more interesting. So we've already got the Honda FTR. That doesn't really matter. So let's now move on to the Honda Forza, for which we have two models here. We have the Honda Forza S and the Honda Forza Z. Let's begin by getting the Honda Forza S. As we begin this game at Autumn Ring Mini, pass your opponent within the set number of laps. Once you are in the lead, stay ahead of your opponent for 10 seconds or cross the finish line first to win the race. You will be disqualified if you cause your opponent to fall. I'd say that's pretty self-explanatory. But, either way, let's get it on. As we begin at Autumn Ring Mini, like we do with most other GT games when it comes to racing, and our first opponent is a Suzuki Skywave 250, 250 Type S. Alright, let's go. So basically what we have to do is, within three laps, we have to pass our opponent, and what also needs to be done here is we need to pass them cleanly. And I am currently two seconds behind. This is probably going to take a little while for me to fully get used to, but I figured since I'm more or less getting myself adapted to playing a lot of these games I played years ago again. And now we just have to stay ahead of our opponent for 10 seconds and then afterwards the bike should be ours. And so we have now scored our first bike, the Honda Forza S. And we did it in 52 seconds. So that's our first bike. Now one and done. And now I just have to do this again by scoring this bike in all of the other colours. Because I figured, why not? I also figured it would at least give me a thorough playthrough of the game as well. So. This is our cue for winning a bike in this game, and the first colour we get it in is Cyber Gold. And we also get the option of putting on an exhaust upgrade for most of the bikes we win in this game. Which I think is cool. So that's our first bike claimed. And now I just have to do the same thing again by getting it in these three other colours and then I'll probably do the same thing again with the Honda Forza Z as well. So same as before, I of course am getting these free bikes in all of their available colours because I might as well. And also because, well, 
it makes it more interesting. Because why not? And hopefully once enough time has passed, I should be able to get used to playing this game more easily. Since I have actually done a complete playthrough of this game before. And a little bit of contact there as we went through the corner, but able to at least keep a hold. And that time, I get the bike in just 32 seconds. Nice. And now we just have two more colours to get this thing in. Oh. I wonder what there is in terms of best photo shot. That's actually really cool, knowing that we can actually get individual photo shots. However, I won't be using this because, well, I'll basically just be recording the replay, but... I actually didn't know that was possible until now, but either way... You pretty much learn something new every day. And I guess that's what the case is with me. Even from a game which I, ironically, have also not played for over seven years, like Gran Turismo 4, but... It's fair to say that my experience with this game compared to GT4, it's significantly lesser with this game than it is with GT4 because I probably had GT4 with me since I was a kid but this game I've only really had with me for nearly a decade now and I've not really played this game as much as I have GT4 but nonetheless this game is still pretty good nonetheless and I'll definitely give it kudos for being a worthy spin-off game to GT4 and still being pretty fun to play nonetheless because this game definitely knows how to do that oh, don't force him off, don't force him off, okay I did not force him off And he's trying to pass me from the outside. However, he runs wide. And I think I've now cleared him. And there we go. Alrighty. And now there is just one more colour... ...with this spike to get. And then... ...we should be good. So... One colour left to claim with this bike, and then we can move on to the other Honda Forza here in the challenge mode. And there we go. So, three colours down and still one colour to go. Let's now move on to our fourth and final colour with the Honda Forza S, and that is black. So once again, three laps at Autumn Ring Mini, and again, as ever, our opponent is of course the Suzuki Skywave. as we will probably be chasing again when we get down to riding the other Honda Forza as well from what I know. A little bit of contact there. I'm on the outside but I do manage to get myself hooked to the inside and there we go. That only took me 27 seconds to catch up and pass 
the Suzuki Skywave. Hmm, should I save the replay here, or should I leave it till the next one? You know what, I might as well save the replay here, just because this technically is what I would call the first bike that I most likely use in this game. So, saving the replay, because I can. And now, we must move on to our other bike in this game that we get for free from the Honda bikes, and that is the Honda Forza S. Let's go and get our next five colours. Because I figured, why the hell not? Alright, on now to the Honda Forza Z. And by this time we have five colours to get. As we start off with Cyber Silver. And once again, like before, we are heading to Autumn Ring Mini in order to get this bike. And once again, our opponent is the Suzuki Skywave. So, we'll see how we go. And up the inside, got a little bit more horsepower than what I had with the uh, other Honda Forza, but either way, I'm making this look easy. So that's now two bikes in our garage. But as ever, I have of course got to get the other four colour variants, because I figured why not. If I'm going to make this a complete game, I might as well get all the colours and more or less showcase them. Just to uh, more or less show you how to get all the bikes in this game, from slowest to fastest, if you know what I'm talking about. Even though this technically is coming from someone who is more of a car guy rather than a bikes guy. But anyway, one colour down, four colours to go. Let's now move on to our second colour in line with the Honda Forza Z. I still haven't found out what the reverse button is. It's probably sticking out from under me somewhere, but I haven't figured out what that button is yet. I might have to look at the controls to be sure, but I'll get it figured out eventually. I normally do. As I'm up the inside and holding the inside line, and there we go. I win! So, two colours down, and still three to go, with the Novice Bikes, here at Honda. Well, the free bikes at Honda, I should say. So that's now our second colour variation from the Z model of Honda Forza. Alrighty. Three colours to go, and then we'll be done with part one of challenge mode. And then afterwards I will have to look through the other manufacturers to see which other ones have the novice bikes that we can win.
Well, on to the next one, I guess. And we'll see how we go. And got myself up the inside, and I think I've got the inside line from what I know, so I think we should be fine. But there we go. That only took me 25 seconds to get the second colour. And now, we just have two colours to go. And then, we will be done with acquiring the Novice Bikes from Honda in the Challenge Mode. In pearl, meek, in pearl, milky white. We now have three of our five colour variants for this bike. And now there are just two that remain. Candy Glory Red and Delta Blue Metallic. Two colours to go. And then we can move on to our next manufacturer with free bikes. Which I think is Yamaha. But I will have to check to be sure so I at least look like I know what it is I'm talking about. And up the inside made a little bit of contact there but still able to grab the inside line and there we go and now we just have one more bike left to claim here and then we should be able to move on to our next manufacturer for bikes that we can get for free in the challenge mode So, we now have just one colour left to get, here among the novice bikes. Alrighty, one colour left, and then we can move on to our next manufacturer in line. So now we just have to get Delta Blue Metallic among our colours available, and then we should be done with this side of the Free Bikes collection. Let's see how we go. Hopefully we can go well. As I'm once again making contact and going by on the inside, just to get my bike. Had to step on the brakes a little bit there, but still able to get the bike with relative ease. And I did so fairly as well. So there we go. That's all of the novice bikes. I keep saying novice for some reason. That is all of the free bikes now available to us from Honda and bikes that we can basically use at any time if we really wanted to. Even though most of these bikes I will most likely never use, but whatever, that's just on me. Anyway, here is the Honda Forza Z. And that's now all of our free bikes that we can get from Honda as all the other ones require us to get a license. And I will make sure to do that in due time. So, that was part one of the challenge mode. And I think next up will be Yamaha, if I'm not mistaken. Because we have two of these free bikes to get here. And I think after that is Kawasaki, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, 
we have now got 10 bikes in our garage as we have got both of our bikes available in all four and five of their respective colour variations and as a result of us scoring those bikes we have now moved up to 1% completion as we have been awarded 9 bikes and we now have 10 bikes in total from starting this game so that'll do it for this episode and now we will move on to the next episode where we do Yamaha